Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lastly here and welcome to another expensive squad builder. You know how we do it on Sundays. First off, if you guys are looking to buy some coins, be sure to check out UT Coin Traders as always guys. Link will be down below in the description for you. Right, as you'll have probably seen by the title, this squad is going to cost around 6.5 maybe. Uh, something like that. 6.5 million coins, 6.7, something like that. But... First player of the team is going to be blue. It's going to be this guy, Landrau, Mikhail Landrau. Uh, 87 diving, 80, uh, 91 reflexes, 84 handling, 87 kicking, 85 positioning. Really, really solid stats on him. He's only 6 foot, which is a little bit small, uh, and he costs you around about 50k. Uh, what I noticed from him was he was okay, but he didn't often hold the ball. He always parried it away, uh, like right here. It's just... It's just pushing it away, you know, which sometimes helps, but sometimes he pushed it straight into uh, the opposition's player. Uh, but he doesn't often hold stuff. But to be fair, uh, he was a pretty good keeper. He did let one or two sort of iffy goals in, but I would recommend him for about 50k. That's not too bad of a price to pay. Uh, moving on, our left back is going to be this guy, Benoit Tremolinas, uh, and he has got... 87 pace, 83 defending and 86 passing being his standout stats, but really great stats across the board there. He is a little 5 foot 8 left footed left back who costs about 70k uh, in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation and he was actually surprisingly good. He he did a lot of stuff which, like right here, our centre back has pushed way too far forward and Tremolinas just comes across, covers for him uh, and again right here makes a lovely tackle and then I think... Again, our defender is uh, moving forward, so he ends up headering it out in his place, which is good. He did very well for me. I did like him. All right, right back, we have got a very highly rated player, 92 Philip Lahm, team of the season. He has got some great stats again. 87 pace, 86 dribbling, 89 passing, and 89 defending. Crazy stats. 185k paid for him, and uh, what can I say? He's very good. But I struggle to find any clips for him, which often means that uh, either someone does really bad or someone just does their job but doesn't do anything else spectacular. And I would say that's what Lam has done. Um, he, as you can see here, makes quite a nice tackle. Uh, and the last clip here is just me showing you that, as you can see, our right mid there plays the ball forward to our right back. Lam does make that forward run a lot. He really, really does push forward quite a bit, which can harm you in defense every now and again. Right, our first centre-back of this team is going to be the team of the season, Jerome Boateng. One of my favourite centre-backs on this game for sure. 181,000 coins paid for him. He is 6 foot 4 with 81 pace, 87 defending and 88 heading. Almost perfect stats and height and everything for a defender there. Uh, he obviously had a fantastic season at Bayern. Uh, well, Bayern just absolutely tore it up this year, didn't they? So that's, that's to be expected. But he was actually a solid centre-back, helped out quite a bit. Uh, he always does for me. Like right here, this is Ramirez sprinting through. So this shows you just how quick Boateng is and strong as well to take it off Ramirez. Uh, and then right here, this guy went obviously for the sweaty. Uh, I defended it there. And once again, that is just absolute last ditch tackling. Great stuff there from Jerome Boateng. Thoroughly enjoyed him. Moving on, Sacco is our other team in the season centre back. Uh, and what a player he is. He's kind of a very similar to Boateng, but just not quite as good. He's got 80 pace, 85 defending, and 86 heading. He's six foot two, so as you can see, he's a little bit smaller, a little bit slower, and not quite great defensive stats. Uh, 175k paid for him, so he's risen in price a fair a fair amount. I remember paying about 130 something for him last time that I had him, uh, and he'd done a very good job for me again. It's great having those two pacey centre backs. They've done an absolutely fantastic job for me, and they're rock solid as always. Um, can use them time and time again, and they're always very, very solid for me. I mean, this team did leak a few goals, like right here. You can see we're two 0 down against this guy, um, but to be fair, we scored some as well, and I'll show you that later on. We scored a hell of a lot of goals. Um, moving on, we have got Bastian Schweinsteiger's team of the season. Look at the stats on him. 71 pace, 91 defending, 88 shooting, 92 passing, 86 defending, and 80 heading. Wow, those are some stupidly good stats there. 599,000 coins paid for him. Three-star skills and weak foot. He is six foot tall and a very, very good CDM. Uh, Stats-wise, um, clips-wise, 
difficult to find the tackling stats in. It takes me ages to find them. But you'll see here that he does do a few of them. Uh, and also, he didn't score for me this time. Normally, he, he does score one absolute pile driver. But I think with all the different like stars and stuff in this team, it was just never going to happen for him. Um, but a nice shot there and just unfortunately blocked. A good player. Probably not worth 600k though in my opinion. His regular card will do you just fine uh, if you're on a slight budget. Moving on. Look at this dude. Second in form Iron Robin. I know there is an orange one available but... For the life of me, I could not see one on the market for a whole week. I wanted him in this squad, um, but this one will have had to do because that was all that was on the market. And as you can see there, six goals in six games, nearly a million coins paid for him, and the stats on him are just ridiculous. 94 pace, 94 dribbling, 89 shooting, four-star skills. Uh, he's got a terrible weak foot, but... If you keep on that strong foot, like right here, if you pull it back to his strong foot, the ball's going in the back of the net. He was really prolific for me. It was incredible how many goals he scored from a right mid position in a 4-1-2-1-2. I really enjoyed him. Uh, he played a huge role in getting loads of goals for this team. Also, his passing isn't too bad. Uh, he normally in real life doesn't like to let the ball go out of his feet, does he? He normally likes to try and shoot it for himself. Uh, right here, I quite like this finish. Nice volley into the back of the net. What was the keeper doing there? Uh, and then this is probably the best goal that he scored for me. Just, again, get him onto that left foot and bang, it's in the top of the net. What a goal, what a player. Um, even his regular card is fantastic. I would love to try out the orange one at some point, though. So if anyone's got him, let me know. Um, right, team of the season, Franck Ribéry is next. And what a player he is as well. Exactly 1 million coins paid for him. Uh, and he netted a few goals as well. He's got 5-star skill moves and a 4-star weak foot. 96 pace, 96 dribbling, 89 shooting and 91 passing. And that is just ridiculous. Uh, really Im impressive stats right there. He wasn't as good as Robin though, to be fair. Robin is actually better on this game in my opinion. Um, well, he was for this team anyway. Um, I love the normal Ribery card, and I do love this one. He just didn't do quite as well. He had to do a hell of a lot to keep up with Robin, and four goals in six games, pretty good. Pretty good going for a left mid in a 4-1-2-1-2. Uh, like right here, I do love that. I love the opening of the body and just a fantastic finish into the back of the net. He's incredibly tricky. Like right here, we did a little bit of LTRT dribble and just took it straight past the defender, uh, and a good goal. Good finish indeed. Right, Valbuena is our next player in this squad. 4-1-2-1-2. He is our cam in the centre. And as you can see here, first owner. I did in fact pull him in a pack. And what a player he is. He's only 5 foot 6 tall. He's got 4 star skill moves. He's got 89 pace, 90 dribbling, 81 shooting and 91 passing. It's that 91 passing that really comes into play uh, for our strike force. He does help out with... Uh, with some assists and stuff, but he also, he does this, he he plays the ball forward and then sprints forward, so he plays it up to the striker, <clears throat> up to the striker, and then he just goes, he makes an absolute surge and run through the middle, and you'll probably notice that on every single goal that he scored here, uh, and it's just fantastic, he makes the best runs, he's got high, high attacking work rate and a low defensive work rate, and right there again, he's just making another surge and run, and then just coolly finishes it into the bottom of the net, what a goal, um, once again, he's playing striker for me pretty much. And that is, that's kind of what I want my cam to do. I kind of want him to almost be a third striker. So having high-low work rates is just great. Uh, a little bit of LT archery dribble in here. And then just oh, what a lovely finish into the back of the net. That is a good goal, a good player. Enjoyed him quite a lot. All right, moving on. Jeremy Menez, Tots. What a card. Uh, unfortunately for me, this time, this team was star-studded. And he didn't do as much. Uh, it says he's played 12 games, but I've obviously... I've you know, just played the six that I played with the other guys. I've had him in my club for a while. And he didn't score too many goals for me this time. Uh, 214k cost me. He's got four star skills and weak foot. 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 81 shooting and 86 passing. He is very good and he partners very well with our striker, which I'm sure you all know who it's going to be. Um, he does... He, he finishes. He does finish. He's a very good finisher on this game. Um... But it's just getting the chances to do so around a, such a star-studded team. 
Like, as you can tell, like Ribery and Robin and Valbuena all scored a lot of goals for midfielders. Uh, and he kind of helped set it up. So like when Valbuena goes through, uh, he was the guy that passed it straight back to him. So he's obviously not going to then be in the position to score himself. He's just played it through for somebody else to score. Uh, and this goal is uh, actually from a previous video, as you will have probably noticed it. It is the bicycle kick I scored, but I did, you know, I had Ibrahimovic and I had Menez up top. So I thought that would go quite nicely to show you a nice goal in case you missed that video. Right. Moving on, final player of the team. I'm sure you've all guessed it by now. It is this guy, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, team of the season. Someone I've been using an awful lot lately, and I'll probably stop using him just a bit because I feel like I might have used him a bit too much. Uh, but he cost me 3.2 million coins. Probably can get him for about a million coins cheaper now. Six foot five with 96 shooting, 92 dribbling, 83 pace, 85 heading, five star skill moves, four star weak foot. Uh, what a player he is. Such such a good card. Um, overpowered as anything on this game. He he just rises like a salmon in situations like that from corners. He'll finish on either foot. Like there is a nice left footed finish across the keeper. Very solid, solid goal. He's just a, an animal. Like the skill moves are perfect. He's, he's tall, strong. Uh, like right here I think we get extremely lucky. But he's just, it's the strength I think which helps him score that one right there. Um, against a very very laggy opponent some randomer online was trying to win the cup by having a very laggy connection but I beat him nonetheless um, and then right here I, th I think we, we take another shot it, it gets blocked and Ibra's reaction time is ridiculous there and takes a lovely shot smashes it off the bottom of the bar uh, for a nice easy goal uh, again makes fantastic runs and just in this situation I'm never worried I'm more worried about the defender catching him than I am from him actually finishing the ball. Uh, and right here, I think I think we're against like Ogbonna and Barzagli there, and he's just pulling away from both of them. Stupidly brings his keeper out, and I'm just going to coolly, calmly finesse that one into the corner. And I think this is probably my favourite goal I've scored with him in a little while. Uh, nice little, uh, it's not really a skill run, but it just completely wipes the defenders clear out. And he's through, finesses it, and a good goal. So that is the squad. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, I'd really appreciate it if you guys dropped a like. We'd absolutely love to hit 2,500 likes on this. Uh, that would be insane. As you can see, the squad costs 6,754,000 coins. Uh, and is probably probably about six million now so you could get that on on the cheap I guess you could call it but drop a like if you haven't done so already subscribe again if you haven't uh, done that also and I will catch you next time guys peace